Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris and today I need to do a video that is long overdue. So you see IC Station, the online shop with electronic gadgets and gizmos, every once in a while sends me something and when I went offline they were contacting me, hey can we send you something and I said no not yet, I'm kind of busy right now, haven't got time. But a few months ago I finally gave in and said yeah fine send it something I thought it's gonna take a while to get here and by that time I should be almost done and should be able to record more videos but unfortunately it has taken a couple of more months than I anticipated so here it is uh, better late than never what I've got here is this a tiny little circuit board a few components uh, through hole mostly surface mount on the back so it comes with this and uh, it's a little piezoelectric element um, transducer those two together form a, a fogger uh, something commonly you can find in you know like little decorative uh, devices that produce a little mist of fog and um, yeah look pretty or sometimes in medical equipment it's a funny shape so i suspect it must have came out of or must have been designed to go into something some specific product otherwise they wouldn't have those cutouts and and shapes and things first let's have a look at where it came from so here is the icstation.com website uh, let's try to find it on here let's type ultrasonic fogger there we go here it is uh, it's a 6.99 dollars item i can see they've got a few different models on here the one we have uh, i think is this one uh, 20 millimeter 113 kilohertz ultrasonic mist maker ultrasonic mist maker fogger atomizer ceramic discs with power driver board for desktop mini humidifier but nonetheless we've got the real deal over here so let's have a look at our board ceramic piezo transducer and the board itself now the board measures 38 by 40 millimeters if you count the protruding four millimeter barrel jack it's 42 millimeters long here is the disc itself as we saw on ic station listing this is a 20 millimeter disc now it is 20 millimeter while it's in this soft silicone grommet uh, i guess and the disc itself is a little bit less so the disc itself is is actually 16 millimeters so maybe this is a 16 millimeter i'm not sure i'm confused uh, a little bit right now but on the board we've got a few passives two inductors a big electrolytic capacitor a switch to switch this on and off presumably and a four millimeter barrel jack now i happen to have a cable that fits this but this doesn't come uh, when you buy this doesn't come with the board so not a biggie i guess you can always solder power to those pins over here this one here on the outside is a uh, negative and the positive is this one here we've got a few components on here um, some passives 78lz or 5 so that's just a 5 volt voltage regulator ss14 this is a schottky diode and that schottky diode works with this here which is mc let's tilt this a little bit mc34063 which is a DC to DC converter controller chip um, as you can see and yeah this uh, with the Schottky diode and those two inductors one here and one here basically produces high voltage you will have a look on my little oscilloscope in a moment output over here far exceeds the input voltage we'll be powering this up from a 5 volt power supply from a USB cable 2N60C from Fairchild it seems 2N60, uh, FQP 2N60 actually, it's a power MOSFET specifically designed for fast switching, so for ultrasonic applications. This chip here is some sort of microcontroller and what it does takes the input from here and it also produces a frequency, probably a pick, some sort of pick, but unfortunately as you can see there are no markings on it. They've either been not printed uh, or they have been rubbed off either way. Um, yeah, it remains a secret and there are some outputs going through a network of resistors into the MOSFET. We've got some resistor network again and that comes from the DC to DC switch. But likely this is just putting it into sleep mode when it's not powered on. Let's power it up and try to see what kind of waveform is driving this little element. For that reason I've made another trip to the attic and I dug out my DSO 068 from JYE Tech. Now in a lot of those 
foggers when you buy them they've got a fail safe cir circuit that uh, will not allow this to switch on if it's not immersed in water but those circuits are usually quite a lot more powerful than this uh, I suspect if we switch it on for a short while without this being immersed it will be just fine here is the four millimeter barrel jack and we can push that in and nothing happened so far um, there is no LED or any indicator connect the ground probe and see if we can get anything on on the micro I think I'm going to probe around here this is the output probably get the probe over here this is where it goes this goes to negative so this will be the positive I've got the probe set to 10x because I'm expecting high voltage and on here I've set it to 1 volt per division times 5 so 5 volts per division times times 10 probes so that's 50 volts per division we'll be looking at hopefully this will show uh, on the little screen uh, let's press the button uh, can you hear this now it makes funny noises it seems as if if this was a little bit little bit unstable but nonetheless oh, there we go it does show up as you can see we are at five microseconds per division there's about two divisions per uh, one cycle so about 100 kilohertz it's uh, it's not a square wave it's not it looks like a rectified uh, rectified sine wave or rectified triangle I need a better oscilloscope don't I slightly over one uh, one division so probably about 60 volts or so I'm gonna switch this off now so it uh, doesn't burn out I suspect yeah this is getting warm ish quite quite warm so I don't want to burn this um, just yet let's see if we can make some fog with this now I'm wondering whether the shape of that driving wave is just convenient because that was just easy to produce on the circuit or is it purposely made as a rectified wave maybe that's just better for ultrasonics I don't know but you did see how that waveform looked like I found a little bottle like this it's just the right diameter to fit this in just under 20 millimeters so with a little bit of luck we should be able to squeeze this all the way in and form a seal so then we can put some water into the bottle and I've busted a wire damn it okay and there's nothing like breaking something before you put it to work I looked at those flimsy wires and I knew that was gonna happen and I bet I will solder the black one and before we get to try this red one is going to fall off okay that should do it I didn't even realize but that was my first soldering under the under the camera in a sense where I wasn't actually looking at what I'm doing with my hands I was looking at the screen in front of me at the TV but yeah that's uh, that works quite well now we can plug it in I have a syringe with some water that's just ordinary tap water so I've just switched it on and let's see oh that is interesting so this actually blows blows it down and quite rapidly oh I thought it was going to you know vibrate like they normally do and it was it would vib vibrate the top away but no this is different so this it seems the center of the disc is is not solid it must have tiny microscopic holes in it and yeah you can you can see it's making quite a bit of a quite a bit of a misty fog let's put some more water in what happens if I put water on here hmm, nothing really but if we put water in here I can put a little bit more there we go it's almost uh, forms almost a jet almost like a spray gun this is quite cool 
I can actually feel the pressure. The water is um, is leaving it at quite a bit of pressure. I can feel as if someone was blowing through a straw on my hand. So there is quite a bit of oomph in this. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is this is so interesting. I didn't know there's the something like that exists. Eh? Now I need to come up with something cool to make with this because this is much too cool to. And what did I say about the red wire? Well, at least we got to try it. This is really cool. Uh, I really like this little gadget. I need to think of what to do with it. Plant watering thing, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Ultrasonic mist fogger. Don't mind the cables breaking off. It's just me not being careful with it. It works and it works quite nice. And as you could see, it produces a nice jet. There is a little dimple in the, in the disc in the middle. And that's where all the mist comes out of. Thank you for watching. It was fun to play with this uh, today and um, yeah, please do subscribe for more random electronics related stuff. For today that's it. So take care.